Happy New Year. It is January 7th. I just got a new calendar. I bought it yesterday because I was losing my mind not having a wall calendar. When everybody does things on their phones, but which I put appointments in my phone, but I like to write them down as well. And that also reminds me what I got to do. So skincare was done maybe an hour or two ago. I put a pot pie, Marie calendars, because who else makes pot pies? I don't know. Um, budget? I don't eat budget. Sorry. I'm bougie like that. Um, but as you know, they take forever to cook, even in the microwave. And then they're really hot for a long period of time. So while I was doing my eyebrows, put it in the microwave, do my eyebrows, let it sit there, sit there, sit there. What am I looking at? I don't know. Sit there. So it's finally cooled. Eat it while watching uh, Cartier Brown. Miss, what is the name of her show? I just literally watched it. Anyway, Food Network, you know, Cartier. So, eight. And then the Cowboys game is about to start 2.15, 2 what? 2.25, so in 25 minutes. It is on Fox. Because it is on Fox, and the Cardinals, whenever, pretty much, whenever a Cowboys game is on, at the same time the Arizona Cardinals is on, game is on, if you live in Arizona, Phoenix, you will not get to see the Cowboys game when it's on Fox, because unless the Cardinals start losing very badly, which can happen, then they'll switch over. Went way too high. Then they will switch over to the Cowboys game. Um, and look, I got ESPN or whatever. It's part of my Hulu live package. But I can't seem to find it if it's on there somewhere. So it's fun to go to a game, go to the bar to watch it because unless they have fancy channels that they pay for, it's not going to happen. I did go on... New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. I went to. I wanted a cheeseburger like New Year's Eve Eve. I didn't end up going. I wanted to go to a kind of a dive bar, or whatever that good hamburgers, cheeseburgers. I ended up going to Harvey's Wine Burger. So on 16th Street in Camelback. It used to be one of 19th Ave, which if you look it up, try to Google, it's going to tell you about the other one. Or you try to tag them, it will go to that location. So, am I going to wear? Yeah, I'm going to put that on. Do I need to? No. I'm wearing her. Uh, camisole from Shape of Man, whatever. I'm wearing a hoodie today because it was raining this morning and it's cold now. It's hoodie weather. So, usually when I wear my Dallas Cowboys hoodie, which is huge, I wear some kind of tank top underneath it. It's not huge, but it's very warm or whatever, but if you get too hot, I have to have something on underneath just in case. Usually if I'm at home because I'm not stripping in a bar or anything like that. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, cheeseburger. So, instead of going on New Year's Eve Eve... Which is when the Cowboys was playing. What was going on? I did something that day. I'm like, I just wasn't ready by the time the game started. I was tired. Um, I went on New Year's Eve. And there was a game on. Cardinals was on. They lost, of course, because that's what they do. And uh, I know. I live in Arizona. I'm not a Cardinals fan. I'll go to a game. Somebody took me. And hopefully they're playing the Cowboys, which I still don't know how they won that game. Um, but otherwise, yeah. I'd like to see a game in that stadium. So I'd probably be rooting for the other team now. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, I digress. The reason why I stopped because I was like, powder. All right, I'm going to just use the towel today. I know my mother's going to be like, why don't you use the cape? Why don't you use the cape? I'm just using the towel. I don't want to have all that on. That's the only reason why. Mm -hmm. And I do a little extra because, like I said, when it's cool and it's been raining, In winter, I've been learning that is a good time to wear hydrating foundations. What I've been told, what I've been hearing, 
And so, I am using one today that I generally seem to wear on rainy days. I realize that. Uh, it's an oldie but goodie. So, I did not set my eyebrows earlier. They just have the eyebrow gel in them. And Anastasia, she has a new eyebrow brow gel. You know, she usually has that brow gel. I don't know what it's called. My mother would know. Um, because I'm not paying that much for eyebrow gel. Uh, Elf has one for like five, six dollars. Which I believe is a dupe. Um, but she has Anastasia Beverly Hills has this new, I guess, like a wand. This is not it, but kind of like this. With the brow gel that's usually in a little pot. It just came out. Um, I don't know. I'm just saying. If they if she put it in my kit, that'd be awesome. I know they're not. But I have... It's on its way, and I'm just like... Is there anything that I really want this, this month? Uh, I did pick some moisturizer, because... I stay buying moisturizers, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't need to buy any more moisturizers, and it's always like the mini ones, but they last forever. So I picked one of those as my selection because the other one, other things they had, I'm like, I, it's either not something I need or. And this is still going strong. So you see how squeezed it is. There's still some in here, and I've been thinking this is almost out. Or at least more than a month. It is still fighting on. I even have my new one just waiting by Elf. I have it just sitting here waiting for me to run out of that. And it hasn't happened. I'm sure I already moisturized, but then I ate. But somehow it still had some on. Because of the way I was eating pot pie. Um, okay, let's spray. Anyway, hoodie weather. So, I got that cheeseburger. The waiter was real nice or what have you. Um, came back to refill my drink. I'm like, I don't need to refill because I'm, like, I'm not staying here this long. And the other games, I didn't care about. I didn't care about the Cardinals game, but I think they won that one. Did they? Barely? I don't know. Look it up. It was Christmas Eve. Not Christmas, New Year's Eve. So, they'll let you know. Anyway. So, foundation we are using will be uh, Rare Beauty. So, you see the box, the new box. So, I bought one of the first tinted moisturizers I bought after ColourPop. I had a ColourPop tinted moisturizer, but I had it in a shade that was not the right shade, and I somehow made it work. I was new to makeup. I'm still new to makeup, but somehow I made it work. And then I finally... After I realized that shade is way too dark and whatever, they somehow let me return it and give me credit. And I did not buy in the right shade. I just decided to hold off. Anyway, so the second one I had bought was Rare Beauty. Uh, my shade is 54N. It might not necessarily, but I think it's 54N. It looks good to me, on me. Somebody else who has my same skin tone, whatever she wears, 50N. I've never, I need to swatch that. But this seems to work. Anyway, so I bought this. And I usually use it winter time. I think I last used it in May. Maybe even August. I'd have to go through photos or what have you. Anyway, let me shake this bad boy. I like this because of the groove. Let's see, you can put your hand right there. And it's easy to open. That helps as well. Anyway, so I had one. And then it, got ex it expired. So that's why I had to buy another one. So... I used points or what have you to buy another one. I didn't use all my money for this. And this is actually one of the cheaper ones. It's like $30. I think I made, no, I didn't pay $30. I don't remember what I paid. Anyway, so we're going to put this on my hand. That much. I'm going to start with that much. And so pretty much that one expired. I like them because they tell you when they expire. So right there, it tells you when it expires. Hopefully that's in focus. Um, the other one expired, so that's why I got rid of it. Otherwise, I probably would have kept using it for the winter months. I'm using a Dinesh brush, so we're going to... Let's see how this... It's 
So I just want to replace it. So I think it's... I can see in the mirror, I don't know if you can see it on camera, I'll probably see it later when I... For a tint though, I like it, it's simple. end of that uh the hunt is on i don't know if you've seen the hunt i think it came out in 2020 yeah it came out in 2020 um it has this actress who if i named you wouldn't know who it is i couldn't name anything else she's been in but um but it has hilly swank in it as well um i don't say what her role is but she's in it as well and it's, I guess it had controversy when it first came out. Um, it's a little violent. It's a violent movie. So it's along the lines of the Purge movies. I don't really saw, but it's kind of like the Purge movies kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's a little violent. Do I want more coverage? Because I gotta think this is gonna eventually actually settle in. I mean, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. So I also think uh, that brush took some of it. Much along those lines. It's not a bad movie at all. It's got a, got a small coverage right there. And this is like a kind of a dewy foundation. I'm just kind of. Right now, probably not so much, but um, yeah, I had some which tissues there. I'm gonna use them. Oh, I didn't get a wipe. That's fine. Let's be using tissue. Um, I guess. Because it was violent and I don't know what was going on for it too. But it had some controversy or whatever. And then after that, you really didn't hear anything about it. And so I remember I just watched, the first time I watched it, I was like, what is this? And then I realized it's that movie that people are talking about. So I finally you know, watched it. And I am going to push it in. And also get off ex excess. And I watched it. It's, it's not a bad movie at all. It's just like I said. It wasn't advertised a lot. At all. And it also because a lot happened in 2020. I'm expecting a text probably in the next 30 minutes because uh, the food meal prep people, you know, a certain time you got to pick up, they'll send a text. And they do drop deliveries as well, but you, to, they give you a bag, an insulated bag, is 10 extra dollars. And I'm like, I could just, excuse me, drive down there and get it. It's fine. I did have them deliver it once because the driver was running late or whatever, so she just. Dropped it off for me. So it's very nice. They're very nice people. And they now have some breakfast sandwiches. Uh, to me, they look like egg McMuffins. Um, but I guess it's bacon, egg, brisket, cheese. Does it have cheese? I don't remember. Get two. They just started that, so I got that. I didn't get the pancakes. I love the protein pancakes. They have blueberry, but I was trying to not get a lot of things. 
concealer going with NYX HD. And I read some something about concealers of 2023 or some kind of survey. I was talking about how good the NYX HD is, which I enjoy it. Finding my shade, which is 7.5, is very hard to find at Ulta. Um, usually there's just one, and then you got to kind of search through the other ones because nobody ever puts it back in the right place. I think I rambled about that before, but it's still true. For too much. So, again, I like it. And I'm realizing, like, of the concealers I bought last year, the ones that really seem to work or I like aren't the expensive ones. They're the ones like this or Minted or Juvia's Place, where I don't feel they make me, they kind of brighten my under eye. They don't make it look gray or tired or old or anything like that. Because I was wearing one the other day, I'm just like, it's not doing what I, I ended up taking it off because I was just going out to a meeting. And it didn't really matter if I had any on anyway. And I was just like, oh, it's not, it wasn't giving, as the young people say. I, I know I'm 45, so young people say I'm one of those people now. Um, so yeah, but I was just like, if I can keep finding these, whatever, I think they're in sale. Should I think it may have been online only. And they always say on the, on the app that they may not have it. It's usually because they don't have one. Um, I was going to say, because I always... But yeah, so this year, Vanilla Hunt. I said it was a good movie. It was just, oh, Snow White and the Huntsman's on now. Um, but yeah, it was a good movie. It's just, it's along the lines, like I said, a purge or whatever. It's just to get a lot of advertisements, what have you. And uh, I like it. <laughs> and there's people in the movie like, oh, that's. And then you see Hillary Swinks and you're like, oh, she didn't want to talk about this movie. Again, 2020, a lot of stuff was going on. Hell, she probably forgot she was in this movie. Emma Roberts probably forgot she was in this movie. Uh, this is Bertham. I don't know what his name is. White dude, John something. He's in a lot of stuff. He's in this movie. Oh, I just realized what I forgot to put on. This year, I'm buying less makeup because I have makeup. I don't need to buy less makeup. If I'm going to buy a lot of things, it's probably going to be lippies, lipstick, because I still love the lipsticks. And I do plan to do a swatch video today because sometimes finding a shade that goes with my complexion is still hard. The little photos I use is just Photoshop. They kind of tan the photo, but I'm like, that's not a black person. That's a tan on a photo. So, um, because I literally will try to search to find if I see a new lipstick that I want or I'm interested in. I'll try to search on YouTube or I don't have TikTok. I'm not getting TikTok again. I'm old. Um, other than the brand's pages and sometimes, again, those are just dark and photos. It's, uh, I'm not saying we need all races to be represented, but it's like don't use a light-skinned black person all the time. So, I consider myself a medium skin tone black person. So it's not just, just hard to say, okay, and that's, and then two tone lips. So I was like, does this really look that? Um, who is it? The Lipstick Lesbians on Instagram gave this tutorial on how to see how lipsticks will look on you when you swatch in store. That you put it on as a deeper compared to person. Put the swatch right there. 
and then I grab it and I, so it's easier than doing the side. So put it right there where your skin is gradient right there. And put it up like this against your face. And so you can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look on you. And I was like, that's the greatest tip. Because we're make up by Mario. I know I keep calling him Mario. And I know it's Mario or something like that. Dude, I'm calling you Mario. Um, that's the way I, when I was watching his new ones, his super satin lipsticks, I did do a, a reel on that. I put it right there in store. Because like I said, the shades, you couldn't really tell. That necessarily... Uh, online, what have you. So I did that. And ended up buying, because you would think I'd buy the Harlem, which my lipstick consultant, who loves me in reds, um, he liked. But then when like when I swatched stuff, I'm like, it looks, it's a little more orangey than I wanted. And then that Tribeca was nice. Um, but I was like, okay. I went, went with Rockefeller, which is a little more, which is what I'm looking for, uh, Blending out the edges. A little more subtle red. It's still red, but it's subtle. And that's why I ended up buying and liking. Because I was like, okay, I don't want to have to return this again. Because I had just returned something else. Another lippy. It didn't work that I should have swatched. Um, actually, it looked good on my lips. It just it dried my lips out. And I was like, I can't. It was beautiful. I just like... I would definitely have to always prep my lips, not have anything on earlier changing to it. It was a beautiful red. I just, I just couldn't make it work. Or I, I would, like I said, have to moisturize all the time or do the lip scrub all the time. Okay, so real quick, this video is long it's because I'm talking too much. It's just expensive. It's windy. The sun is out. Where the sun finally decided to come out. But it's, it's a little cool breeze, I can tell. I'll turn the heat off. I left the heat on all night. I just lowered it to 75. I've had it up to 80. It's been cold. I don't like to be cold. And so at night, I turned it down to 75. So that when it dropped, because it, for some reason, my apartment was in the 70s, but outside it was freezing. So uh, this is... uh. The MAC primer, eye primer. You know, kind of going for a natural look. Which, uh, this year I think I'm going to do that more often. I say that now. I say that now. But we're definitely using what I have. I don't need, like I said, I have the foundations I have, or what have you. Unless it's fabulous. Um, and I can't find a dupe for it, that's most likely going to be my ammo. That wind is kicking up. I was like, I'm missing a brush. <clears throat> so is that nose contour brush? I'm like, where the fuck is my nose contour? Sorry. So this year is about uh, perfecting what I've learned this year. Uh, the last two years kind of thing because sometimes I, I do a video or I do whatever and I'm like okay that turned out I blended well and I think something like I could have blended better there or again trusting the process waiting for things to sink in uh, Ipsy has a new icon box to advertise in I'm like all right I'm good I'm not gonna buy the extra box And what's the, oh, the Golden Globes tonight. I may or may not watch. I may watch later tomorrow because it will be. Because I'm more interested in um, Food Network. They have uh, Worst Cooks in America with Tiffany and um, Anne. Uh, Tiffany's New Jersey on that show this year. Uh, but I like watching Worst Cooks because you're like, people really. How do you make it to adulthood cooking like this or not cooking like this? And it's like, 
how do you not know the basics of how to just watch the trailer and you're like, how do you not know the basics like this? And you survived. I'm like, you must have a lot of money because how else are you eating? A lot of ramen? And these people be married to you and all this stuff. I'm like, they cook all the time. Obviously, the spouses or whoever. And they got kids. I'm like, how are your kids? What? It just makes no sense. Let alone the celebrity versions of the same show. Uh, but... They can at least afford a chef. But these common people, I'm just like, I don't know how. You see, so the other day, Thursday, my crown fell out. Emergency dentist appointment on Friday because I didn't, I was like, I haven't been to the dentist um, since the new benefit year. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to pay $50 deposit just paid rent other things i'm like i get paid friday i'm going friday when i have that deposit or whatever plus you know they always find ways to take more money than just that deposit the deductible is what i'm talking about so i didn't go till friday it didn't hurt so i'm like okay i can go friday and they got me in thankfully they always been good about that kind of thing they probably could have got me on thursday but if i knew i didn't have to pay the deductible then yeah i would have just went thursday and they could have got me in. Um, I don't know if that's... They could have, but... That's, that was uh, what was going on. So, I went Friday, and it turns out... They could not put it back in, which I realized after the fact that I looked at it... The rest of that, rest of Friday, and I'm like... Yeah, they're not going to be able to put this in. Keep back in. Um, we are using... I got this in... One of my Sephora, you know how they save these samples. And I don't want to say 75% of the time, it's, you never get the samples you asked for. Um, I did ask for this. Because I have samples. They'd be like, how did you like this? I'm like, I never got it. So I was like, why are you asking me? Or I just picked something. I'm like, I'm not going to get this. I think I picked a Tom Ford sample or whatever thing. Didn't get it. On my name sample, didn't get it. Get some other shit. I'm like, I I can't use that. Or they sent something with shades. Like, I had a Huda one. My friend came over yesterday to pick up a foundation I had bought for her. When they didn't have it in California. Um, during the craze. And I gave her the Huda one because it has Huda samples. Because there was no shade that I could use in those samples. So... These has two blushes and two highlights. We're not using these because, again, everyday look is what we're going for. Um, we are going to use, what's it called? Bliss? Yes, we're going to use Bliss. And that's this one right here. Just going to put a little on my hand and then blend it out and use my sponge. Kind of looks like that. It's going to be kind of light skin. Or not light skin. Better for light skin people versus me. I'm going to put it on my hand. But I can make pinks work as well. So it looks like that. And it's just kind of blending into nothing. So we'll see. If it does anything. Or if I need to do it directly on my face. I'm not seeing anything. I think it absorbed everything right there. So we are going to do directly on my face. off again yeah because it disappeared to nothing on my hand and then I'm just gonna let's see if it's too light still and it's ashy yeah that color is not gonna do anything for me and I wanted to use real beauty and that color is not doing anything at all okay so with that I have this real beauty in faith so we're gonna use it instead. It's purple. I don't only have a purple. Let's see if we can get the sponge to work for that one. So it looks like that. I hate this. 
and I know it's gonna work. I just need to put it directly in my face because I always see these influencers do it on a hand, and I'm like, that never works for me. I have to put it directly in my face, so that's what gets for trying to follow influence. I know this is probably too much, but we'll see. It's a little purple. There we go. And I also have Juvia's Place, Sweet Berries, in purple, which is purple. But because I'm wearing foundation or tinted moisturizer, and I wanted to. Okay, I think y'all can definitely see that. But rolling with the punches, trying things, I'm like, okay, it should be able to work, and then saying, nope, just kind of tame that down a little bit with the sponge. And Rare Beauty, it dries down, it's I think it's a matte kind of blush, it dries down very fast versus Truthless Place that stays creamy and dewy, so it's not gonna dry down. So if I went crazy, this would. There we go. Okay, so with that, set the bronzer. here I'm using bronzer for eyeshadow I'm gonna probably use the highlighter not today but as you saw that the blushes aren't gonna work my skin tone I want to say the other one might but so you see how I wasn't trying to feel that out today just a little bit of white on my eye from the from the uh, eye primer. I need to not use that mirror again because it's, I just changed my contacts today too, so that's not helping. Okay. It's like it's making me dizzy and had a slight headache already. But anyway, so I need a, a bridge, an implant, another implant. I got one like, so many years ago. They finally stopped asking me when are you gonna get the teeth on top of it? Cause I'm like, I don't have that kind of money. And then, yes, I could have saved up and finally got it done, but I did not. Um, and so actually the dentist, new dentist, this dentist, they keep hiring good looking brunettes at this dentist's office. There's another one I should have asked, what happened to him? Okay, because I knew, yeah, he, he was hot and, charming and yeah and so they keep hiring them apparently I don't know what happened to him but they got a new one um and he was like why haven't you gotten the tooth again he's new he doesn't know <laughs> he hasn't heard or whatever and I was like sugar daddy okay pretty much I need money to get play lottery savings because this year I was like saving 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 so I can move and I'm like if I get this freaking implant 
and then I need a bridge as well because it's I I yeah. I'm like, okay, y'all I'm trying to take all my money. I was trying to save, I was trying to go on some trips. I'm still gonna I need to renew my passport. I'm still gonna do that, but I'm like, I don't know where I'm going since I need to pay for <laughs> this bridge or whatever, and I guess well, the implants, you gotta wait a while before you can get the bridge anyway, so I'm like, okay. Apparently, I'm gonna have time, but still, I'm like, I need a tooth over there. I think this morning I've been eating a lot of soft food, hence the pot pie and cream of rice yesterday. Um, I can eat normal food, it's just when you can't use one side of your mouth and irritate your other side more than it would. Anyway, so I have an appointment in two weeks. Get teeth cleaning. Uh, get an overall x-ray because I needed one for the year. And then to your oral surgeon about starting the process for the implant and eventually the bridge. And I guess they're all electronic now because tell me why. And they're like, oh, we're ready for you early. I'm like, I just got in my car to drive over there. And then like 15 minutes later, I get a text, like when those fill out forms, whatever you fill out, you know, your history, medical history forms. If I'm driving over there and I told you I'm driving over there, why would you send me out a form that obviously I can't fill out while I'm driving for my appointment? Why didn't you send it to me the day before? You know, I ain't been in there since before COVID because my last, I was in there before COVID and then I had a follow-up appointment and they canceled it because of COVID. So it's like, I was trying to wait till the COVIDness died down because I'm not sitting in the office with my mouth open. And germs, people sneeze, everything. People, these stores lately, I'm like, teach your kids to cover their mouths and stuff. It's, it's been ridiculous. It's been the kids more so than adults. Oh, this lady in the Dollar General yesterday. I was standing here. This lady walks by me this close. And I'm just like, this mother. So I moved over, and then she stops next to me, looking at whatever show. So I move over. She moves over. I do it again. She does it again. So finally, I just went to a different aisle, because I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but get away from me. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You know, right now we have, you know, cases are spiking because, of course, holidays. But I was just like, you know, post-holidays, what have you, but, you know, flu, COVID, everything. And I got my flu shot, got my COVID vaccine, booster, whatever. I don't care how you feel about it. I need to protect myself, protect my mother's health, any old person, whatever. I, For me to celebrate Christmas, I was like, I'm getting whatever I have to do to make sure my mother's okay. Um, but anyway, this lady, but people are just all up in your space and then coughing. It's like, you can't, it's like, really? And that was yesterday. And I, I know some people have recently been sick, flu and or COVID. Like different circles, people don't, different states, whatever. So I, I just, and then going to the dentist doesn't make me, that doesn't make me want to go to the dentist, obviously. Especially, you know, once everything opened back up, I was like, no. So I put off that little, which is probably why certain things happened. Okay. So I'm going to spray, and then we are going, ah, rambling. And I'm going to try this year one of these looks. Um, where people put on the contour, contour the blush, and then they put on a concealer. So you can almost go, go crazy with the blush because then you put the concealer on and it's going to make a natural transition. They say no lines of demarcation. What? You know what I mean. And so I'm going to try that and see how that works as well. And that little white part is just going to keep driving me insane right there.
but yeah so i was supposed to do a lash class i was gonna do it next weekend because it's mlt martin luther king junior day uh weekend but with these cases going up having two friends separate friends sick with different things um it's gonna be a small class it's gonna be like a five people that i was gonna do obviously as part of the beauty labyrinth um company umbrella but for people getting sick or whatever i'm gonna put it off a little bit until maybe february even though i was gonna work president's day i don't know so we'll see then let us set and so i was gonna buy everything and I, that's why i was in dollar stores yesterday because the lash applicators supposedly in fine compact mirrors um So I was trying to find them, if I could find them locally. I was just waiting for Amazon. Uh, Timu has some great prices, some things I needed. But if I could find them locally, a decent price. I wanted to do, to do that. Um, and I kept finding four, but I couldn't find five. I wanted to do a class with five people. Um, but yeah, so I'm pushing that off till maybe February or people less sick. This is my Ulta one. It's a one off. I still like this. So. Okay. I said we're going to just do that much. Still kind of. Okay, um, where are we at now? Do the lips? I sprayed everything, so I don't need to do... Let's finish with eyes, then. Uh, eyes, then we'll do lips. Um, so I'm gonna go Lancome Lash Boost. Yesterday I was gonna have a slow day, not really do anything, which I still kind of did. And then I saw one of my friends was sick. Doesn't live that far from me. Turns out she moved, so she lives a little bit further. Um, so I went to Walmart, got some things for her, and got some other things while I was there because I try not to go to Walmart that often. that to her and tied it up some of the dollar stores what have you because there's one by the freeway as I was leaving the area okay so I'm like I know there's some hairs right there this is waterproof uh, I got this when they had $15 is it December when they had 15 when it was $15 that's when I got this I think that I part of my gift card and this one's little curvy like that and I'm still trying to watch videos to use the curve properly okay this one I'm gonna have to flip this bad boy and I could get a new mirror but I haven't This eye is just missing eyelashes left and right, so doesn't apply that great on the side. Uh, I had to get rid of my sky high because they say replace them three to six months, three months usually. Um, it started to smell, so I was like, okay, it's time to get rid of this one. But like I said, luckily I've already had a bunch waiting. I'm 
and then because I really don't feel like putting on the press on lashes which I could to fill in those spaces for that one just don't be all up on my face we'll be fine That text is coming soon. Rebel Kind still fighting. I just realized how quiet it is. So my downstairs neighbors finally got to talk to. Um, actually saw while I was working from home and looking on the park parking lot and the manager was walking like he usually does. I don't think he was even, the office was closed that day, so he wasn't even on clock, um, on the clock. And my neighbors downstairs saw him, went and talked to him, so I'm guessing he knew that people had been complaining about him. Talk to him. I watched him talk to him. Well, I could see the feet. I wasn't watching, watching because I was obviously uh, working. Um, but he's talking to him. I have good hearing. My windows aren't the th thickest. But I learned he can definitely talk lower because you could not hear anything he was saying. You know, I know he's talking to him for a good five, ten minutes. So I'm like, you do have the ability to talk lower. You just don't. So ever since then, it hasn't been as loud. Every now and then, like last night, okay, inside, you, I can hear them because, again, everything is not thick. But if you were outside, you would not be able to hear them. So they've been kind of quiet ever since. Like I said, I didn't want them to get kicked out. I just wanted them to shut the hell up. So, lipstick we are using. There was a sale. I used my gift card on this. I think I used my gift card on this. Um, sale on Say Beauty on their lip blurs. I have one in pop. I've done a video on that one. This one is Dada. To me, it's kind of similar to... They say it's terracotta. I don't know what terracotta is about this. But they say it's similar... When I swatched it before, I would say it's close to Fenty's Ball and Bay. So let's swatch. So it kind of looks like that. Well, so now I look at it, it also kind of looks like um, Devoted to Chili by MAC. But on my actual lips, it doesn't look that. Because I've actually tried it already. You'll see. So, just in case it rains again, we're going to use one size. Real quick. This is my final look for sitting around the house until I have to leave and then I have the hoodie on and you'll see those photos as well. So happy Sunday.